Hi guys, uh, welcome to From the Shore. Um, I am introducing this for uh, Tina and Baz, uh, or Bina, as I like to call them, as one solid entity, or possibly Taz, uh, Tasmanian Devil, whirling and dervishing around the country for your entertainment needs. Let's have a little look through their, a little voyeuristic look through their bedroom window <laughs> to see what they've been up to. Here we are, here we are on a beautiful sunny day at Ollerton Cemetery in Liverpool and we're going to find the graves of Cilla Black, Ken Dodd and John Lennon's mum. Now this place is huge as you can see because there's the map and if I just show you down there it's absolutely huge so we're just going to have a walk around and see what we can see. So this cemetery is absolutely huge and it's beautiful. There's like this bit here that's hidden in the trees but there's some beautiful graves back there. As it is so big here um, we've got a bit of help from our friend over at Metri Autographs, Paul is telling us where the graves are what we need so big thumbs up to you thank you so much so let's try and find them Priscilla Maria Veronica White, born 27th of May 1943, better known as Scylla Black, was an English singer, television presenter, actress and author. Scylla was born in Vauxhall, Liverpool and had an extensive career even performing alongside the Beatles in the Cavern Club in Liverpool. Scylla Black, OBE, passed from us on 1st of August 2015 and now rests in Ollerton Cemetery, Liverpool. <laughs> Step inside, love. Let me find you a place where the curse of the day will be carried away by the smile on your face. So, as you can see, we found Scylla's grave. We're now going to find Ken Dodd's grave, aren't we? The only thing with Ken Dodds is his gravestone is quite Common. similar to <laughs> other ones. So we think we found it, then we haven't. So, but it is a beautiful graveyard, isn't it? Ooh. And another big shout out to Paul from McTree Autographs. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up, guy. Appreciate it. Yeah, the hunt for Ken Dodd's gravestone. Mm. 
We know what it looks like. We just don't know where it is. Nope, that's not her. Does anybody know where Ken Dodd is? Are you peeps? Sir Kenneth Dodd, OBE, born 8th of November 1927, was an English comedian, singer and occasional actor. He was described as the last great music hall entertainer and was primarily known for his live stand-up performances. A lifelong resident of Notty Ash in Liverpool, he put his hometown on the map. Sir Kenneth Dodd passed on the 11th of March 2018 at the age of 90. He now rests in Ollerton Cemetery, Liverpool. Hey, Colin, have you any songs about fish? <laughs> <laughs> what about, there's a place for us? No, no. And, uh, now, Dickie, I want you to be, I want you to be very clever tonight and entertain the ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I want you to show your versatility. Huh? <laughs> yes. Show them how clever you are. I, I'd like you to say, I'd like to hear you say, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked. So would I. Happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that I've been blessed with more than my share of John Lennon's mum and if you just go across this way this is where John Lennon's stepdad is so he's there and his mum's just there there's a bit of noise because they're cutting the grass but that machine over there looks funky we did struggle we struggled to find this grave but we asked one of the men that's quitting the grass and he, uh, he showed us where it was, we had to follow him, he was on his little lawnmower but that man is a star, he didn't want to be in the vlog so big shout out to him, he was so nice So as you can see we've found Ken Dodd's grave, we're now going to walk from Ken Dodd's grave to Scylla's grave so if you ever come to see them it helps you find it because we struggled a bit because all the stones look the same in their own way but yeah so here we go. So you've got Ken Dodd's grave there and you're going to turn left and we're going to walk.
So if you are going to visit these graves and you don't want to walk, bring your car because there is a lot of walking. I'll wear some extremely comfortable shoes. Yeah. That are lightweight. Because this place is huge. Very huge. Follow this path, and when you see this huge tree, just come across. Not walking on the graves, and then there is Scylla's grave. Okay, there you go. Take you to another grave. So we are in Tong Cemetery in Bolton and we've gone from 29 degrees down to 16. And as you can see, it's absolutely peeing down. So here is the grave of Fred Dibner, and apparently, his gravestone is made from a local slate or a local stone. So we've been told. Born 29th April 1938 in Bolton, Fred Dibner would become a character loved by many, receiving an MBE for his services to heritage and broadcasting. He was heavily influenced by his surroundings as a boy, living close to a train yard. His love for steam engine was seen heavily in his television shows later in life. His fame, however, came in the form of being a steeplejack in the North West for most of his career. Fred Dibner died on the 6th of November 2004, aged 66, and still rests in Tong Cemetery in Manchester, England. You know, when I first started climbing chimneys, there were quite a lot of places on coal. I even had the great pleasure of working on one or two where they actually still shoveled it on by hand, and all the black foul smoke used to come out. But that stuff, you know, it used to come out at top and all the gutters in the immediate neighbourhood and all, all the years lace curtains rotted away. The thing is that once you've got up that first bloody ladder, you've only got to make one wrong move and you're dead. You know, I mean, them boards, there's great gaps in them, you know, I mean, you could put one foot through a space and not even fall off, but smash your bloody leg in two pieces and then you'd feel a bit of a fool. Eh? Well, fire brigade's no good because the ladder's not long enough. And then, if you look, you can't see it today, but his house is actually over there. Usually on a clear day, you can, yeah, you can uh, see it. Yeah, thunder's coming in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah you get quick in car. <laughs> so that's his grave. So this is Fred Dibner's house just there, and this is all his land, or was his house. That's where 
if you go in there for if you do the tour that's where you go in rain's calmed down a bit but as you can see in there that's Fred's garden don't want to light it too much because it is actually someone's house so There we are, and then the front door is actually where the bedrooms are because the lower level of the house is actually further down. So if you knock on his door, you're more than likely going to see the bedroom door. There you go. It is actually for sale at the minute. As you can see, he's put all that little chimneys up there, which got awesome. If I had the money, I'd sell by this. And then that's the one down there, these garages. Right, guys, so hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're sorry about the sound at the end. There was a little bit of water in the speaker from the rain. But like we said, hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If you did, remember to leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, because we always answer comments, and be good to each other out there. See you soon, guys. Bye.